morning. I'm out here in the river, taking some pictures, trying to do some fall photography in the river this morning. I wanted to come nice and early while the fog was still in the water. Uh, it's starting to lift now, but it seems to be hanging around the river a little bit longer. So um, I picked up these uh, hip waders and uh, I thought, well, I should try these out, see if they leak. Might as well take some pictures. If you know me well, you know I like fishing, and so I buy a lot of stuff like this, and I, I incorporate it into the photography, so uh, a lot of the foliage is still very green right now. So I'm going to walk around, try to look for some leaves, uh, just photograph the fog on the river, and uh, I'm just basically uh, dedicating this photo session to the river, uh, just to challenge myself and to try something different. So. If you're looking for an idea uh, this fall or the your leaves haven't quite changed yet where you are, um, try to change it up a bit. Try to just go in the river, uh, stick to the river, river banks, and uh, try to uh, challenge yourself with that. So hopefully this gives you some ideas and uh, enjoy the photos. Something I'm noticing right away is when I'm shooting into the sun, the sun shining through the fog is really kind of giving me a harsh, kind of uh, really intense light. And so it could work for some photographs, but for the most part, I'm going to do most of my photography with my back to the sun. Um, it almost silhouettes everything and, and kind of sucks the color right out of the photo. So uh, I would like my subjects to be front lit as opposed to the backlit. Uh, you could get some nice moody foggy photos this way uh, so don't totally ignore it but just keep in mind that it, it is kind of uh, sucking a lot of the life out of the photo but uh, when you're out here doing stuff like that just use your best judgment. Maybe you're more creative than me and you could work with it but for the most part I'll just turn the camera and I'll show you facing into the sun. Versus facing away from it. Really lights up the landscape nice. So that's the way I'm going to focus and uh, see how it goes. I'm really loving the foreground on this one just got to figure out how to how to place it and I'm good to go well this is neat the grass all laying down my shadow might be a problem but uh, let me focus here how do you do this too much reflection down low, so I'll have to go up above. Found something interesting here. There's the hole. There's the pile from the hole. And controlled water flow only means one thing. Someone's been prospecting this river. I wonder if they found gold. Well, thanks again for watching guys. The fog is pretty much burnt off now and I haven't eaten breakfast so I'm going to call it a morning. If you're looking for something to photograph and you're not sure where to start, check out your local streams and rivers. Uh, a waterway is always a good place to start. 
until the leaves change and we're in full blown landscape mode, it might be hard to be creative. So hopefully this video was helpful, hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully I could get out and shoot soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.